Oh my gosh, look at all of them, you guys! Look at this whole herd of little lost lambs! Oh, they're so adorable. I'm surprised the guests aren't just like shoving over one another to be able to come over and watch them, but that's probably because they're cold, they're hungry, and I haven't really put anything that can kind of lure them a little bit closer. Oh, but these lambs, they're so cute! And I'm so glad that mass breeding all of the doll sheep is finally done, so we were able to take part in that big challenge with Ice Ice Outpost. And now that that's finished, hello little cutie, that means that we have time to prepare ourselves for penguins! Oh my gosh, the aquatic pack is going to be coming out in just a few more days, and that means that finally, on these icy and snowy slopes of Ice Ice Outpost, we can add in penguins! Penguins and seals, which I am so excited for. I don't think the giant river otters would be very happy in such a cold climate, since, you know, they're from the Amazon rainforest. And I also don't think that the diamondback terrapin or the dwarf caiman would be super super happy to find themselves in such a snowy land, but I definitely can see penguins. Just masses and masses of penguins waddling across the snowy ground. That would be so freaking cute. We are absolutely going to be working on taking care of our penguins today and trying to expand where they might be able to do some swimming and where their waterways might be. I really want to build a few um, islands that we can kind of have people walk between so that we can have little spots where you can really see a lot of penguins. And this might actually finally be the chance that we have been waiting for to be able to redo a whole bunch of the polar bear area. <gasps> we have a baby polar bear! Wait, is that a baby or is that just a very small polar bear? It's Molly! And she's just a very, very small polar bear who seems to be having trouble <laughs> just walking a little bit further up this slope. Molly, here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and help you out. We'll have to go ahead and try to make over the polar bear area for sure. I have a big plans to do some zoo flipper work in here. And then she actually has a male with her. Is this her brother? Let me make sure. Children as we can. What? We do have a baby. Oh no. Oh no. We have brothers and sisters together. Oh dear. All right. We're going to have to do something about that pretty soon. <gasps> There's a little baby girl though. Look at her. Oh, she's adorable. Look at this little baby panda, or panda, little baby polar bear. Oh. Okay, little one, we're gonna be making over your area to make sure that everything is good to go for penguin zone in the future too. I mean, they have a huge zone, but we really need to be doing a lot more with it to make it a lot nicer for our polar bears. And I want to be adding in islands, not only for our penguins, but I really want to be able to go ahead and I want to add in islands for our Arctic wolves. That's actually going to be one of our next missions. The Arctic wolves are pretty rare on the trading center, so I'm going to say that they're also pretty rare in the area. And right now we only have two zones where we've got a lot of wolves. We've got this zone right over here, the Rowan Mountains for the snow wolves. Oh, look! And they're playing with their pup. Oh, that's just so pretty. Oh, I love watching the animals just be able to enjoy the snow. This is so lovely. Look at that. But we have one litter of wolves right down there. And then we've got another pack of wolves with the wild glacier pack. Because we were so busy with the sheep, we actually do need to check in with our rangers and see what changes have happened for both the packs. But we only have a few of the wolves in both zones, so I actually want to start a island where we can put the wolves as well. And that's because there are wolves, arctic wolves, who live on islands off the coast of Alaska, and they inhabit those, those little chunks of island land off the coast and swim between the islands to search for their prey, the deer mostly, and the deer are very good at swimming between the different islands. So oh, maybe we should have an island that just has a bunch of sheep or a bunch of caribou. So I think we're about to see this little tiny lake kind of transform into an actual sea pretty soon, and we should give it a really cool name. And we're going to expand it and just dot it with tons of islands and lots and lots of penguins. It should be a lot of fun. It should be something really special. Oh my gosh, look at this blizzard. Okay, but let's go ahead. We've got to check out what's going on with all of our animals. Brian, oh my gosh, Brian. I think he's a little stressed because he is surrounded by so many sheep. So let's actually go ahead and move all of these babies 
into the little lost sheep pen and that should start helping. And then Brian has too many females with him at the moment, I think is his other problem. So now that we've marked all of the babies to be moved, let's go ahead and we're gonna have Santi, Neil, Violin. We're gonna, should I? Let's go ahead and have them moved over here because we have a lonely male over here who's just kind of like a bachelor hanging out by himself. There we go. That should actually calm some things down. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's actually like a couple more babies over here that we should probably think about moving. Okay, hopefully that'll take care of Brian. I think we just had too many sheep in this zone and that's why they were all freaking out. And we will be going through and taking care of some of the other spots, but as we've learned, we really have to kind of pick what we're gonna focus on every day. And today our big focus is going to be on the Arctic wolves and starting a little fishing village. Wait a second, was that the... <gasps> How rude! That is absolutely just the rudest. Oh my gosh, look at how rude everything is down here! You people are rude! Oh my goodness! I need to get my security officers like really on top of this. Mountie Megan! Let's like step it up, my friend. Here, I need you to like work more on your training. We need another Mountie in here. Oi, oh, Megan! Oh, did she just catch somebody? Oh, she just caught a miscreant! A miscreant, people! Okay, Megan clearly needs some help, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix all of this nonsense. How rude. Alright, let's see. Prime. We're going to replace the broken benches. The bins have been kicked over. So many of the signs and speakers have been vandalized. Ugh, oh, this is just completely objectionable. Alright, time to hire another Mountie. And actually, since it is a new month, that means that our patrons actually get their list pulled up again and have another chance of joining in as a staff member to help keep our wonderful Ice Ice Outpost well protected. Oh, which is just so exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and see who's up first. A brand new Mountie. And this is actually, whoop, where'd she go? Did I just pick her? Is that her? Okay, thank goodness. I thought I lost her. All right, but this is actually going to be Mountie. Alinka! There you go, Alinka! Welcome! Let's follow you for a second while I go ahead. Oh my gosh, look at that little waddle waddle. And mark you off on my list. And once again, thank you so much to our patrons. Things are always so uncertain with YouTube and it really means the world to be able to know that we've got that little bit of support where every now and then when I panic, I can be like, it's gonna be okay. We've got people with us that got our back and I'm gonna do my best to have your guys back and continue to bring these fun little adventures and storytelling and terrible path design <laughs> to you during such a interesting time of our lives, friends. There we go. That's why everybody was walking so weird. I had it sped up a little bit. All right, so Mountie Alinka, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start getting you trained. Already something has been destroyed. How come that hasn't been replaced? I'm going to just go ahead and... Oh, man! How come I didn't replace the vandalized one, but I completely got rid of the other one? Oh, well. That's just... That's the way the cookie crumbles at some points, I suppose. All right. There we go. And just fix that a little bit. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay. So now the Mounties should be taking care of things. The bins have been fixed. We definitely need to train. In fact, let's train another Mountie. Like, I'm just sus. Everybody is now sus. Do you hear me? Oh, geez. I mean, maybe they're miserable and cold and it's my fault, but we're going to work on this. And this is going to be... All right, he looks like he's ready to apprehend miscreants. But this is actually going to be Mountie Thunder. There we go, Thunder. It's so exciting to see you added on in, too. I hope that you eject the vandals, chase the pickpockets, and uh, manage to apprehend the miscreants. Let's make sure we can train him in just a second while I mark him off the list. And then we actually need to go ahead and work with our rangers and check in on the arctic wolves because I want to be able to take the wolves that are being bred right now and actually have them move over into our little island that we're going to be working with. There we go, get him trained. So let's go see what's happening with our arctic wolves. Since we were so busy with the doll sheep, I think that they have actually... Yes, look at that. We have unfortunately lost track, I think, of... Oh, come on. We've... Okay, this one was adopted. But Toliko, he was the one... Tok Toklo was the one who actually... Oh, uh, we don't know his parents? No, like, you guys weren't all adopted. 
you guys are carrying on the little Rowan Mountain wolf pack. Uh, we used to put down a new wolf legacy ice pillar every time we had a new wolf born to try to keep track of all the wolves. But because things got so busy, we lost track of it for a while. But you know what? We're not going to give up. We'll go ahead and we'll start fresh. Hmm. Was I keeping track of, like, what number legacy they were in? Kind of. So it looks like the last time we were keeping track of this, it was with Arctic and Cloud in the fourth generation. So we'll just have to go ahead and call these guys the, like, 5.5 generation. And let's give them some names that you guys have actually come up with. Look at the parents sleep over here. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at their ears wiggle. But all right, let's name the little baby girl first because she is going to inherit this area. And this little one is going to be Nebula. Oh, that's such a lovely name, Isla. Thank you so much for that. And let's check out the parents. Okay, so we're actually going to have Cooper for the father, which is a really fun name. And then we're going to have, ooh, I like this name, Elena for the mother, the alpha female over here. There, oh, it's so nice to be able to go ahead and let these guys kind of have a moment to rest. I always want to make this rocky area just a little nicer for them. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything we could sneak in here. Maybe Arctic themed or really we want biome. Taiga and Tundra biome. Blueprints off. I'm always trying to sneak plants in, but I bet over time, since these guys have been on this mountain for so long. Yeah, there we go. We can sneak in some big old tree trunks. And maybe, well look at that. Just some fallen, some fallen debris that might have kind of snuck in here to spruce up. Ooh, and I bet there would be something to kind of block this area off a little. Maybe a little spruce tree? Let's see, could I sneak, I could sneak a spruce tree in here. All right, we'll sneak a little spruce tree in here. And then what about, oh, the festive spruce. I love how this festive spruce is already decorated. Not quite what I was thinking about. I was thinking something more like these bushes, except maybe a little smaller. Let's see, monkey puzzle. The monkey puzzle can go in the tundra and the tigra? Well, you learn something new every day, I suppose. Let's see, that's the Scots pine. Here we go, the white sage bush might be. Kind of, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Just something nice and leafy that can kind of hide in the corners here. And give the wolves a little bit, just a nice little bit of decoration. And I love the cowberry bushes. All right, can we sneak a few more in there? How should we maybe work on decorating the inside of their cave? What would you find inside of a wolf den? Probably a lot of tree roots, actually. A lot of grasses. Oh, listen to that. Let's see. Some taiga. There we go, some tundra rocks. Maybe just some small rocks. It would be nice if we had just a cluster of small pebbles that we could kind of sneak in. Here we go. And we'll visit with the parents in just a second. Oh, it sounds like they're playing with one of their toys. Oh my goodness. There, see that's a lot nicer just to be able to kind of like smooth out the boundary. Oh, listen to them. Between where we have our little sneak peek window to be able to kind of peek in on them. And then let's actually flip this all the way around so we get a little bit of variety in the rocks. Nice! It makes me so happy when we can spend just a few minutes like decorating their area and trying to make it look a little bit nicer for the wolves. Um, okay, that actually might help out a little. Be a nice big old rock. And... Hey, not bad actually! <laughs> 
I don't want to put down too many rocks so that like we can't see the wolves, but it makes sense that like not the entire area over here would just be like nice and smooth. Okay, and then now that we have a little nebula here. Oh hey, and Christmas Joy! One of the Christmas Joy uh doll sheep are actually expecting offspring. Wonderful. Hey, look, giant boulders are awesome. I really wish we had just something a little a little smaller. I mean, you know what? It's not as small as I was hoping, but it's just gonna have to do. There we go. Maybe if you just get really creative with what you do have to work with, you can try to make it look like just a little cluster, a little tumble of rocks in the right place. All right. I like that. That's, that's pretty nice. It just kind of varies up the background, so hopefully this will look just a little bit better for our wolves now. And they can rest in here and just be nice and cozy. All right. Oh, look at the baby. Hey, little nebula. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, good. We'll need to continue to improve their area. And we'll want to keep an eye on little nebula. Because she probably will disperse onto one of the islands. We're going to need to work on that too. But let's check in on this pack. Because it's been quite a while. Ooh, and we have a new baby! Skelly! Okay, so Skelly is here, and Skelly actually has a new mate. So all of Skelly's family actually dispersed, or they passed away of old age. Skelly is an old boy now. Look at him. He is now 17 years old, which is just amazing to me. And he's got that white fur coat with the brown modeling, and he has a little puppy! Where'd it go? All right, little wolf pup. Only one wolf pup this time too. Oh geez, their food is totally like rotted. We might need to have a keeper who, now that we have so much money, we can really take good care of these guys like that. But we might need to have, yeah, we have Ranger Glarn and Shepherd Miss Moss. Those two have a lot of different areas they need to take care of. <gasps> no, Skelly! Oh geez. We get just like his last final moments with him. Oh my gosh. Can I put down something cool in honor of you, buddy? Maybe a little hidden thing full of bones or something like that? Maybe just some little dwarf plants? Oh, these are pretty. Huh. Here, Skelly. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like just decorate the very edge of their little cave here with something. Kind of it preemptively in his memory. There we go. And apparently we need to like sort out the doll sheep at some point because they're going to start interbreeding, but that's a problem for another day. Alright. Skelly, we really I'm trying to get this in here for you. There we go. Maybe some of the sea holly. Oh the little Labrador teas. And do we have like a nice bush? I know this seems weird, but I don't know. If it was me, I would want to be able to Oh like these caribou moss. If it was me, I would want to be nice and old and kind of like look out and see something beautiful right before I passed on myself. So that's just why I like to try to spruce things up for the wolves. And we might need to get his mate a new mate as well. Alright, hang in there, Skelly. Skelly! Oh, he passed away in his sleep just really quietly and I didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Rest in peace, buddy. Oh, All right, well, let's go ahead and check out his, his child. A little boy! A very healthy, extremely healthy, golden little boy. Oh, look at that. And he's running with his mom. Okay, so let's go ahead and name these guys. So, right over here, we have Eden, spelled with an I. And we're going to go ahead and give him that name because I think that's a really cool name for the little guy. He's running with his mother who is going to teach him how to go ahead and take care of everything in the wild. She's teaching him where to go ahead and sniff out different scents at the moment. And this female here has not got a new name. So we're going to go ahead and name her Moo after Milky Moo. <laughs> All right, we're going to name her Moo Moo. Because I think that's kind of an adorable name for a arctic wolf. And let's see if we can find her a new mate. She's very young in terms of how long arctic wolves can live. She can live for up to 15 years. Skelly was making it into 17, 18 years. 
and she will bond with another wolf. So let's see if we can get another male in here. Now bringing another male in while she has a pup would not be something safe to do in the wild, but we'll just imagine that this guy, oh hey, heck yeah. Like a six year old gold level wolf who just wants to kind of like move in. You know what, we'll name him Skelly the second because I feel like Skelly didn't have much of a chance to kind of enjoy life because we were so busy with the doll sheep. But we'll go ahead and get him in here. And then once he has arrived, I think we can definitely be quite content with all of the wolves that we've had for the day. Good. And that means that we know that both our wolf packs will be well taken care of. There we are. Let's try getting a few nice low-lying bushes. Just kind of scattered in while we wait for Skelly the second. And a little few more. And now there's probably some animal diseases because we have 8 million lambs and we need to take good care of them. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. Oh jeez. <laughs> Alright. Who knows? Emmalyn, Varden. We have so many. Okay. This is why we need the wolf pack. <laughs> Release all of you guys to the wild. Holy cow, except the sick one. Jacob Waldo Yates. Okay, all of you guys to the wild. <laughs> all right, the population of doll sheep is going to be doing just fine. Just fine. And do we have... There he is! And the arrival of this beautiful, healthy new wolf, Skelly the Second. Welcome, welcome. We'll have to see how he gets along with his newly adopted little cub. Or pup, I should say. Where they go? Not in these pine trees. There he is! Oh, and I can't wait to redo so many more of these areas now that we actually have a knack for being able to decorate a lot better. But alright guys, it looks like our Arctic Wolves are doing great because they are so uncommon in the Animal Trading Center. I really want to make sure that both those packs are doing well. But next time, we're going to put a lot of focus into spreading our pathing and preparing this area for penguins and adding in some little like Viking fishing village pieces, which I'm pretty excited about. So if you guys have some ideas about what we should design to prepare for penguins, things we could really redo for all of our islands to make them stand out a lot, then do please let me know. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures and name our polar bear, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, little polar bear butt. So cute.